Hey guys, how's it going? Shez back again and welcome to the third instalment of the FIFA 15 career mode, Potential Stars. This is of course the series where we're looking at some of the players that are a little bit younger and might actually grow into some of the stars of your FIFA 15 career mode save. I had a couple of episodes last week that went down very well indeed. If you missed them, then check the channel page for them. Today we'll be covering three people. You guys have asked if there was perhaps one more player. I've been doing two per episode so far. We're going to up it to three for the rest of this week. So without further ado, let's start with today's first player and that player is Zachariah Bukali. A lot of people have used him this year on career mode and he has a very very high potential of 90 this year. As you can see on the on the right hand side I've dropped that slightly to 88. He broke into PSV's first team in the season just gone after having or building a fantastic reputation through their youth system and uh, he scored a hat-trick in one of those games that he played this year in the, the Eredivisie and in fact has the title of being the youngest ever hat-trick goal scorer in the Eredivisie. So he did well, in the, he played 16 games total, scored those three goals in one game but then didn't score again in the rest of the 15 and picked up two assists. So he's had a decent start to his uh, first team professional career, although it's not been as electric as potentially some may have hoped he's still a very very good young talent with a high prospect and uh, I've left that quite high at 88 but he kind of needs to prove on the first team level that he really is ready to step up and become one of the best players in uh, in the Belgian kind of youth ranks and then into the Belgian first team got players ahead of him like Eden Hazard and Kevin Morales to live up to whether he can do that we'll find out over the next two or three years or so if he stays at PSV but he's still got quite a high potential I think for FIFA 15 I've predicted around a about the 88 mark and he'll keep if not improve his base stat card of 73 I've said 74 so the second player we're looking at is actually a player I don't really know too much about Pierre Emile Hoiberg is a player that you guys requested in the comments so I've had a look at him and I queried uh, a good friend of mine Wheels FL as to what this guy's all about because he's a big uh, Bayern Munich fan and apparently Pierre Emil Hoiberg is actually supposed to be the kind of the Schweinsteiger replacement at Bayern Munich unfortunately uh, under Pep Guardiola he hasn't had as many games as perhaps uh, the fans may have liked but he is widely regarded as a player that has a bright future in the game and apparently he is supposedly to going to be making that jump from a bronze to a silver so he's Rare 64 bronze this year. Had an inform with, uh, of course, being 64 as well. I think he's going to be 66 non-rare as a silver this year. Although, of course, it's as of yet unconfirmed. And uh, if he is as good as the fans say, then uh, he potentially could grow to around about the 84-85 mark. If he is going to be the Schweinsteiger replacement that uh, that they want him to be, he's going to need to grow to that sort of uh, that sort of area. But the final player we're going to look at is Wilfred Zaha. Of course, he uh, is on loan back at Crystal Palace from Manchester United after going to United uh, last year. He uh, didn't really have too much of an impact for them at all and then of course went out on loan to Cardiff where he did okay averagely but not his best. He's gone back to Palace on loan this season and already popped up with a goal in the last minute to get them a 2-2 draw I think it was in their last game before the international break. So he built his reputation at Palace, which is where his uh, you know potential growth of 74 to 84 for FIFA 14 comes into, uh, into play, but didn't really followed that up last year but if he's back at Palace and going to uh, to perform the same way he did when he was first there then I wouldn't be surprised if we see a growth in his potential and if he can rebuild the reputation that he was putting together with this uh, loan spell back at the uh, the club where he started his career then uh, potentially he could be one of the biggest players for your FIFA 15 career mode but that's going to bring today's episode to a close guys having a quick look at three players today we'll do the same of course tomorrow and uh, every uh, afternoon slot throughout the weekday if you don't know what I upload and when I upload there is a schedule in the description down below and on the about tab of the channel page will let you know exactly what to expect and when to expect it not only for now but for the entirety of FIFA 15 as well so check that out drop the video a like if you enjoyed it as well that'd be absolutely superb and of course if uh, if you want me to have a look at uh, some further players then leave me some suggestions in the comment section down below I've already got at least another two or three days worth of uh, graphics made up for players to look at but I'm still looking for more there's still plenty your time to look at some extra players so leave me some suggestions but that's all for today thank you very much for watching guys we'll have an episode of fifa 15 demoing tonight and i will see you next time